So given this velocity versus time graph, let's write a position versus time graph and an acceleration versus time graph. All right, so let's first say a story about what might happen in this scenario. So let's say a toy car is driving on a flat surface, and this is the velocity versus time graph for that situation. So let's first write an, uh, a distance versus time graph. So as we can see, for the t equals 0 to t equals 2, we can say that uh, it's, we can see that the velocity is four meters per second. So we can just simply multiply two times four and that'll give us the position for one at t, uh, t equals two, which would be at eight. So from the t equals two to t equals four, we use then we then use, uh, use the equation final velocity, velocity of the final velocity minus initial velocity over t, which gives us four minus zero over t equals two meters. And then we multiply that by two because that's the uh, interval from two to four is two. So then that'll be two times two equals four. And then we add that to the uh, the distance beforehand, which gives us eight, which gives us 12, because four plus eight equals 12, obviously, right? So then four to 12. And since this is all uh, constant, we can just make two points, which is represented at two and four. And then for the acceleration uh, versus time graph, we can see uh, we use the equation uh, acceleration equals of uh, final velocity versus initial velocity over t, right? So from t equals 0 to t equals 2, as we can see, the final velocity was 4 and the initial velocity was 4. So it'll simply just be 4 minus 4 over 2 because that's the change in seconds, like uh, that's the difference in time. So it'll be 2 equals 0. So as we can see from 0 to 2, it'll just be simply 0, right? And since it's constant, we can just make a line at 2. And then for t equals 2 to t equals 4, we use the uh, final velocity and we subtract it to the initial velocity. So as we can see, the final velocity was zero, the initial velocity was four. So then it would be zero minus four over two, because again, that's the interval on the underneath. And then that would give us negative two meters per second squared. So simply it would just be two negative, from two to four, it would be net negative two. And then, so that would be the acceleration graph, and this would be the distance graph, and this will be the velocity graph.